Good morning, everyone. It's day five. It was a cold, rainy night last night. We're gonna get up and make some breakfast. Today we're going to Milford Sound, and so it's gonna be a busy day. I think it's gonna be beautiful when we go outside. <sighs> wow. Take a look at our view. <laughs> It may be freezing outside right now, but not too shabby of a place to wake up, huh? It was so cold last night that we just left our pot outside because it's colder than my refrigerator at home. So, <laughs> we're a little chilly this morning. This is our view today, right next to our van. Wow, it is gorgeous in the morning time. So last night was definitely the roughest night so far. I like just could not get warm. And so I'm a little bit sleepy today. It was really hard to wake up, but I put on four layers, t-shirt, two hoodies, and my wind jacket. And I have two pairs of pants on. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. I think we're gonna get some coffee going and get started with our day. And zero waste so far today. I can see in his eyes, he wants to just go buy a bunch of chips. <laughs> So he's warming his hands on the coffee pot. Aren't your hands cold too? Of course. Up, silly <laughs> How is it, babe? Mm. Good. Mm. So this is what we came up with this morning. We had a two eggs. It's pretty good though. The mountains change how they look because the sun hits different sides of them and different angles. So every 30 minutes or so we go, oh, look at the mountain, <laughs> get the camera. <laughs> All right, you ready to get going, babe? Uh, we're ready to go to our next spot, Milford Sound, and then have a look around the town. So we couldn't see this last night, but on our way out of our campsite, you can see that it snowed a lot yesterday on top of the mountain. Look at that. Oh man, this was the coolest campsite. It was. It was 15 New Zealand dollars a person, but you're in the Fiordland National Park. So there's a bunch of viewpoints and stops on our way to Milford Sound. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're basically chasing beautiful places. The map showed all red on the road. This is apparently one of the most popular stops on the way to Milford Town. Wow. So, so many mountain peaks. I don't know about the reflection. Don't really see the reflection on the mountain that much. Now we have a little bit of a breeze. So you can see the ripples. Mm. Currently on a super still day, it's like a perfect reflection. taking in the scenery, babe. I feel like it's so peaceful here, I have to whisper. I was about to say they have a whole coffee shop, but it's actually... They have a, a van selling coffee right next to the trail. No, let's not. I'm good. I'm good. What did you think of the Mirror Lake? Oh uh, man, it was really pretty. The lake itself was beautiful too, but the mountains is what I think is really, really pretty. It was really nice. Yeah, I get why this is a big stop. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get back into Squidward and head on. I will say this is definitely the most crowded section we've been to so far. I think we know why Milford Sound is popular. Yeah, and why it takes so long to get there because you have to stop every 10 minutes. <laughs> Oh, 
so we're at this car stop called the divide and this place has a view out here which i think where the name started the divide because these two mountain ridges looks like it's dividing this one scene it's another beautiful place to stop i think what this place is mainly known for is a hiking trail there are treks that takes one hour to four or five hours but we're not gonna go into those treks we're gonna keep going to milford sound this is gonna be a great view i can already tell you ready to go yep. <laughs> wow guys would you look at that wow it's a really steep cliff up here but man, look at the snow-covered mountain. <sighs> so I don't know if you can see from the video, but there is like a really too steep cliff right next to each other. And right in the middle, there's this beautiful snow-covered mountain with rocky hills. If there are fairies, this is where they would live. So this area of the road, because of the cliffs, they have severe rock falls. So you're not allowed to stop or you know get out to take photos because they have such bad rock slides. Fingers crossed that there's no rock slides today. Watch out, it gets real narrow here, I think. Um, do you beep your horn or something? How does this work? Is this normal? Oh, look at the waterfall. Yeah. Might have to get the tripod. I mean, off. No stopping. Drive safely. All right. Oh, we merge into one lane. There it goes. Now we're in the tunnel. That's the oh, tunnel. This is the Homer tunnel. Oh. Oh gosh. I didn't expect it to be so terrifying. Oh. It's a little scary. I feel like it's gonna fall down on us. Wow. We got some big switchbacks coming up. Going there extra slow. Uh, Squidward, I hope you're reliable because we have to go back up this thing later. Just came out of that tunnel and look at this waterfall. The road to Milford Sound is very steep, windy. We've come out of this like high peaks and down through to this valley. I didn't take Dramamine today, so I'm having a hard time, but the views are crazy. I know we said that a lot this week. <laughs> So it looks like a tropical rainforest, but then you have the huge snowy mountains like right behind it. All right, we made it to Milford Sound. As you're coming into Milford Sound, there's free parking on your left-hand side called Deepwater Basin Parking. If not, it's $25 an hour to park in town. So what's the plan? Um, walk around, enjoy the view. All right, so this parking lot is awesome, but the sand flies are crazy here. We're like running to get away from them. It's the first place we've seen them the whole trip. I suddenly went this way, don't go this way. The way to Milford Sound is this way. I'm out of the parking lot. There's a little path and it says visitor terminal. This is the way you actually go. So as we walk, we're next to the road on one side and the airport on the other. So we can see all these like small planes taking off. But the walk is pretty beautiful. The path is nice, it's wide, it's easy. I think it's definitely worth it to save 25 bucks an hour.
So we realized there isn't a really big town in Milford Sound. It's just an airport, a ship deck, and a place to kind of like look into the waters. But there's a cafe and a bunch of people and the parking lot. And birds. <laughs> It's not a cute bird. The beaks are too short. There are a lot of cruise tours that you can choose from in Milford Sounds, but it's about hundred dollars plus per person. We don't have budget for that, so we're gonna enjoy the views and the cliffs, and probably go on the cruise tour. Maybe next time we're in New Zealand. Also known as Milford for sure. It's a 20 minute walk around this one area, but it is quite filled with sand flies, so we have to move quick. I got bit on the forehead already. <laughs> Let's do it. My first sand fly bite. Look at my hand over here. Getting eaten alive. Love the plants behind you. Oh, they did a great job of making this bridge walk. And so we get to kind of see what this place is like. Yes, you can see these reeds are just as tall as we are. The nature is such an interesting contrast. Really different than the nature where we're from. I've never been in a place with this type of plants and animals. And not to mention the, the rest of the scenery is amazing. Waterfall. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at that. When there's low tide, you can come out on these plains areas. So we're gonna walk out here. <laughs> the, the water is coming in real fast. Way out there. Yeah, the tide is definitely coming in. Totally covered where we just were. It is. Yeah, good timing. Look at the water's coming in. <laughs> we have this one top left. <laughs> I thought they were just waves from the ship, but it's actually tide coming in. We had to vacate real fast. Ah, oh, I got another bite. Okay, I think the sand flies are eating us. So now we're gonna walk back to our car and head to our campsite. This is our last view of the waterfall before we head out. Bye, waterfall. Now we have to drive up that super windy, steep road. I'm nervous. Sing in, you ready? Yeah. Is you okay? Mm -hmm. The scenery was just off the charts. It was so beautiful. Watch out, watch out. Every day the scenery is beautiful, but this is like another, another level, I think. Soaking in the uh, scenery real quick, trying to save that image in my head. All right, so we're right in front of the Homer Tunnel. But man, you gotta see this cliff, guys. Just look at this cliff all around you with little bits of water flowing. It kind of looks like a fortress almost. There are walls on that side, on my back, and on this side as well. It looks like it's out of a movie. It's definitely from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> right at the base of this huge mountain is the entrance to Homer Tunnel. They have a light here as it's one-way traffic through each. And it overlooks this huge valley that goes into Milford Sound. Just us. Hey, we get to go first. No stopping. No stopping. It makes me want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
All the waterfalls from this morning are gone. Have you yeah, noticed? So, yeah. I think they all dried up. It looks like it's CGI. Yeah, it does look like CGI. Manapuri and it turns out you can actually drive down to a place called Fraser's Beach. Wow. It's like an ocean. It's huge. Wow. It is a little windy. But it looks really beautiful. We saw some houses back over there on a hilltop, and I think that's where they get like the view from a little bit of a higher ground. All right, it's too cold. It's too windy. It is a huge lake. It was short, but we're glad we got to see it, and we got to go to the bathroom too. <laughs> it was worth it. Now we're gonna go back to our car. Wow! Woo. Into the car, quick! Into Squigward. Oh. Oh. There's like either used to be or is a giant power plant on this lake. I don't know where it is. I can't see it from here. Maybe it's at one of the ends, but it was a nice little stop. This is like the ones I saw. They're like. Don't get booed. Whoa. What? Oh, the white ones have horns too. What type of sheep is this? Yak? <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Oh, he's look he looked at me. I think this is it. Yeah, yeah. You turn here. All right, so we just arrived. We drove like an hour and 40 minutes. We found our campsite for the night. So we're gonna quick get out, cook dinner as fast as possible and eat before the sun goes down, right? This is more like a parking lot mm -hmm. next to a river. So let's eat quick, babe. Let's get quick. Yes, I'm hungry. Am I crazy or am I smelling meat? It's probably the neighbor. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're cooking you're, burgers. You're right. <laughs> Alright, so while Sarah is cooking dinner, I found this interesting area right across the street from our campsite. It's a deer farm. So I see hundreds of deers. They are really sensitive to sounds and you can see a lot of heads are already popping up <laughs> looking at me and saying, who the heck are you? Yeah, I think they're scared of people. Rice and beans. Rice and beans, mm -hmm. sounds perfect. So I made a great dinner, we are just enjoying the view, looking at the sunset. So that was the adventure for today. See you in the next one. Close the door please. Oh! I can't, it's stuck. Close it. It's stuck. Again, is currently photosynthesizing. <laughs> what? The key is not to move. <laughs> it's actually a waste of time. We can just go in the car and turn the heat on. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go, let's go.
at you. Like, this is Jurassic Park. This is Lord of the Rings together. <laughs> right? Am I just... You wanna walk on the beach? I'll take a shot of you. Go ahead.